Today was a beautiful sunny Sunday and I didn't really make any plans for today but I really wished that there was just a friend that I could reach out to to be like hey do you want to just go on a walk or even just go buy groceries together and it's made me think of how as adults friendships have become so much more complex and difficult to maintain like when we were little we all kind of lived in the same area it was so easy to meet up could literally walk to each other's houses but now we've all like moved to different cities and I for, for one live in a city that is way too big for its own good I can't just spontaneously meet up with someone I need to schedule it in advance because we live quite far apart so it's just hard to do spontaneous things like I feel like I miss doing life with my friends I only just meet up with them to catch up on what the latest life updates are but I miss being able to experience life together like it's always meeting up for dinner or meeting up for coffee so that we can catch up and talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other but it's never like let's go and make this new memory together or at least for me maybe maybe a lot of you have different friendships I know that I have those friendships because every time I go back to Austria where I was born and raised I have those friendships where we can literally just meet up to do life together. Whether it's cooking together, just, you know, having a nice meal, but just chilling at each other's houses. I feel like is a privilege that not everybody has and if you have that then that's amazing and I hope that you cherish it because I kind of crave it now maybe it's because I'm not from the city that I currently live in and so it's more difficult to create those friendships that are that deep or once you do create them like I said you guys just happen to live on complete opposite ends of the city making it impossible to meet up and do something spontaneous like an activity together where it feels like you're genuinely experiencing life together like sometimes i just want to really be spontaneous call somebody over and be like you know what i don't want to cook but if you come i'll be down to cook together so i miss that yeah okay that's what i'm saying <laughs> Like on days like these, sometimes I end up being so lonely and feeling like I have no friends, although I know that that's not true. My friends just are not from here, they're in a different country uh, and that just sucks and I guess that's just like the downside of having moved away and traveled but sometimes I see people who have their whole friendship circle here and it makes me feel yeah a bit jealous I guess makes me feel like I, like I wish I had that too it's just a bit hard to make new friends as an adult because you spend all your days at work and like where really would you find new friends? I guess at work, because that's where you spend half your time. But that's also tricky because how do you know what boundaries to set in place and how, how open you can really truly be at work? I've had instances where I make a really good friend at work and then I end up becoming their manager. And then obviously you have to draw a line at that point and you can no longer be the same kind of friends that you were before. As much as the friendship carries on, it's still, you now need to be a bit cautious and so ever since then I think I've been thinking like well how can I truly even make new friends at work because again you never know how the dynamic is going to shift at work you need to remember that these are professional working relationships but maybe I'll just make a whole separate video about work because I feel like that's a whole other super interesting like environment of, of social relationships so maybe I'll save that for another one 
Anyway, so I thought I would make a vlog about adult friendships and the difficulty of maintaining them and the difficulty of building new friendships as well. Okay, I feel like that sit down monologue came across as quite sad and depressing, but it's not all that bad. I have been joining various new groups, uh, such as dancing. Dancing has been such a nice outlet for me to find new friends, and I've now found some of my closest friends through joining like dance classes or auditioning for a dance group, and that has been really nice. But now obviously you've been spending all this time trying to build new friendships and putting in all your time and energy into nurturing these because you need to build them up from the ground unlike the childhood friends that you already have. But as a consequence, you end up having less time for your childhood friends. And I guess I'm saying this purely from a living away from your childhood friends perspective, because for me, all of them are kind of scattered in different countries. So I end up finding that I have less time for phone calls. And of course you can text each other and send each other random pictures throughout the day, but I feel like you need to spend quality time with your childhood friends as well. And that can only be done via a like one hour FaceTime call every now and then so you need to make sure that you are scheduling these across different time zones depending on where you guys all are and that is difficult especially for for me like because my family is also abroad so obviously I need to make time for them um, and so I know that some people say if you really wanted to make time you would but it's a matter of like this is really the best that I've got right now and unfortunately some friends take it a bit more personally than others some people think that it's a reflection of how much i value the friendship but i i feel like it's more so a reflection of where i'm at in life right now especially now because it's like wedding planning your normal nine to six job you need to still be doing your groceries and cooking and meeting your new friends because otherwise you'll just be lonely here and you've got nobody you still have to call your family who are also abroad you still need to make time for all these things and so I find myself feeling that the childhood friends who have been the most understanding about this or those who also have a similar issue, those are the ones that I end up staying in touch with and those are the friendships that last really long because they get it and they are understanding and they don't take it too personally. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying like I feel like I don't have any time to meet my friends I can totally relate. Mm. I don't even have, you know, time for myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, there's no time to, like, catch up with all those friends. Yeah. And, you know, spend quality time. When do you see your and friends? And I feel guilty about it. <laughs> yeah. When do you, ma do you manage to see your friends? Not that often. Not anymore. Do you think they take it personally? Or is it fine when you meet up again? Thankfully, they're fine with it, and yeah. they're very understanding, so yeah, that's I'm really good. grateful for yeah. them. <laughs> I feel like it's yeah. the friends who are really understanding, that's the type of friendship that ends up lasting really long. Even, like, calling friends like you um, abroad, mm -hmm. like, we always have to, you know, 
find a day that works for both of us and then dedicate like an hour or so to catching up. It requires like a lot of effort from both sides, I feel. Yeah. Honestly, it's also a little bit sad because you realize that you start to no longer have the same routines as your childhood friends. Like you may have once gone to school together every single day. You meet up in the morning, like your routines are the same. You have your little afternoon fun time together but now like you're living totally separate lives you've got separate jobs and especially in your 20s I feel like everybody is doing something different and it's the time period where everything is acceptable people are getting married people are already parents people are still just you know searching for their first job people are still finishing off their degrees everything and anything is happening in this phase so it, it also becomes a little difficult to relate to these people who you used to feel like you were like this with. Are you feeling the music? Yeah. I'm kind of proud of my playlist. Me too. Thank you. <laughs> All this just to say, it's not easy maintaining friendships over a long period of time, especially when life drags you onto different paths. I'm definitely guilty of not having been the best type of friend at all times, and I'm still constantly trying to find the right balance between all of life's demands. Which is why I hope that we can all just be a bit more understanding of each other and love each other through our hardships as well. Cut your friends some slack if they don't respond for a long time and just assume that they probably have something going on in their life rather than assuming that they just don't love you or care about you anymore. At the same time, let's also make an effort to be there for our friends and ask yourself when was the last time you made your friends feel appreciated and loved. It takes two to keep a relationship going, so put in the effort wherever you can and also show compassion when someone has too much on their plate.